right, so when taking the this trim off around the slide out, the uh, wiper seal is put in between the aluminum and the wall, and then the tape, the uh, butyl tape, they put on the on the rubber wiper seal. Nothing behind it, just rubber against aluminum, and then the butyl tape on the rubber against the aluminum trim. We can pull all this off. So all that butyl tape that's on the wiper seal or anywhere else really that you're removing butyl tape. Um, just a little bit of advice is to pick it up off the ground or um, put a tarp down before you even begin this job. Uh, because when this stuff comes off, if you don't pick it up, you'll be picking it out of your carpet and out of your shoes for a long time. So just do yourself a favor. You'll thank me later. Put it in the comment section below when you want to thank me. <laughs> Put down a tarp. Get all this uh, butyl tape contained before it gets in your shoes and you track it in your house. So this lower wiper seal is attached with, uh, let's see, I think 15 of these quarter inch self tappers. So, um, and then there's a couple of straps which are fastened by quarter inch self tappers also going into the aluminum. That all has to come off before you can remove this lower wiper seal. Um, the uh, inner D seal is just double back tape. So all the way around, that all has to come off and uh, it's just adhesive back tape. So got most of these off so I can get this lower wiper seal off and then finish scraping all of the rotten luon off of this, uh, this main structure beam here. Well, that little multi-tool makes quick work of getting all this uh, gluon off of this aluminum structure, so that's good. Keep at it. Got to do this, and then uh, underneath there's some uh, stragglers. Get all that off. stuff out. All right, well, I think that's about it for today. I'll uh, start getting those walls built for the slide out tomorrow and uh, the next day get the uh, floors started on the uh, shoulder. Uh, get those brackets in the uh, Simpson ties, get those in, get that wall shored up, and uh, start getting the new slide out put in. And the new camper cover came today. Cool, get that on. And I did get the uh, 
the hole covered in with a tarp, which is good because we had a uh, hailstorm come through here. And I'll show you what that did to the air conditioner. <laughs> <clears throat> so unfortunately, I didn't have my truck camper cover put on before the hailstorm hit. So all those condenser fins are smashed in, about the size of marbles coming down. So that'll probably be my next video. I'm going to show uh, how I fix the condenser coils after they've been smashed in. This happens a lot with uh, air conditioners uh, and hailstorms, whether it's at your house or on your RV. Uh, they can be repaired. I'll uh, show you how I do that. So anyway, till the next video, you guys take it easy and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Later.